I'm David J, and I work in WMG and the University of Warwick. And Warwick, we are thinking about the many ways in which coronavirus has changed the world. This includes our desire to make the world a greener place. But has coronavirus made us a plastic population once again? Before the pandemic, we were already on track to tackle our addiction to plastics. Goals has been set to minimize the use of single-use plastic items. Reuse and recycling have been considered as important strategies to preserve the value of used plastics. Environmentally friendly solutions have been under development to replace traditional plastics. But the fear over COVID-19 has led to the use of more plastics in people's daily life, such as disposable meal boxes and shopping bags. We also see a dramatically increasing demand for PPE, such as face masks, gloves, and protective clothing. In this sense, plastics are essential to reduce the spread of the virus and save lives. As the world comes to the terms with the lingering effect of COVID-19, the continued reliance on plastics will still negatively impact on the global environment. But once this pandemic is over, we will be back to the mission to fight against plastic waste. Thinking positively, this pandemic is very likely to push for innovative materials that can protect both our health and the natural environment. There could be new technologies developed to process plastic waste more efficiently and safely, even if they are virus contaminated. I also believe that this pandemic will eventually lead to people's behavioral change as proper disposal of plastic waste means fewer chances to spread viruses. So I'm quite optimistic about the future being more sustainable with less plastic pollution. I'm David Shea from the University of Warwick. Thanks for listening.